Hello friends, my name is Abhishek Inamdar and I am here to introduce Level Up IS new course on CSAT, ACE CSAT 2023. See, this is the right time to prepare for CSAT. Right now, you have time to understand the concept, to assimilate them and to practice a lot to get hung of those concepts. Right now, you have time to analyze UPSC patterns and prepare according to that. And that is how we have designed this course. Uh, something about me. Uh, I have done my master's in mathematics from Bits Bilani and I have had wide experience with UPSC and I have given five mains and three interviews. In each of my attempts, I have had 150 plus uh, in CSAT. Uh, this is to tell you that I have seen how UPSC has changed its pattern, how differently they are asking questions after 2019, what different quality, what different understanding they are testing in you. So that that is the thing that we have to remember. Now about this course, first and foremost, we will cover the syllabus comprehensively as per the changing UPSC pattern. Now, what is this changing UPSC pattern? First, first, first and most important thing is UPSC is now much more focused on the basic concepts and basic understanding of arithmetic, geometry and skill of mathematization. If you look at 2022 CSAT paper, there are more than 15 questions which were coming from very basic understanding of uh, arithmetic. For example, concepts like uh, prime numbers, concepts like powers, concepts like uh, prime factorization, concepts like divisibility test, they are getting their due weightage in understanding ability of student to analyze concepts and analyze and understand them. Now, second and most important, another most important thing that is changing in UPSC pattern is that UPSC is now mixing the concepts. They are no longer asking you only percentages or ratio proportion. They are mixing those concepts and the questions that are getting asked uses three, four more concepts where the clarity among those of those concepts is very, very important to understand the question, to attempt it very, very confidently. And third thing that is more important is that UPSC is asking you now questions that are in the statement form that require comprehension skill on your part as well. So, CSAT is getting tougher for not only non-science background student but for science background student as well. And that is why this is the right time to prepare and you need to understand the basic concepts. That is where we'll, fi we'll find emphasis on this course of. We'll focus on arithmetic, geometry, mathematization as fundamental skills. We'll have a lot of practice on those skills. Uh, we'll have four classes per, per, per week. We will be trying to build basic clarity of concepts from scratch. So while UPSC expects you to uh, have 10th level of understanding, I expect you to have no understanding at all. I will build everything from scratch and all I ask is your attention, your resolve and your discipline. This is very important that we will have 12 years of past year question discussion in class. Because see, UPSC or prelims in particular is game of confidence and to get that confidence if you can solve uh, PYQs using very basic concepts that we are learning in class you will get that confidence yes this is doable this is not something that requires fancy formulas that only mathematics or engineering students can do this is something that is soluble from very very basic understanding of basic numeracy algebra uh, basic geometry basic principles of counting and comprehension abilities and that is where uh, another part of the course is see upsc has been asking around 25 to 30 comprehensions in every paper comprehension questions rather so we have to build our comprehension ability and not only in prelims comprehension ability will help us in mains as well you have to write good essays you have to write good answers and for that you need to build your English, you need to build your comprehension ability. You need to understand the question as well as write it. So look at the comprehension from that angle as well. So comprehension is not something that can be taught in one lecture or two lectures or three lectures. We will, it is a process. It is a process to understand what author means, what, understand what, uh, what is going on his, in his mind, to understand what is the crux of the passage and to build our vocabulary our knowledge and understanding of English, our writing as well as reading abilities and that is a process and that is why comprehension will be a regular feature of our classroom discussion and not just a few 
lectures would be dedicated to it. You will of course be getting uh, class problems and class handouts. Classes will be live as well as offline, live as well as recorded videos. And this is the rough plan that we have. For quantitative aptitude, we will have 13 to 15 classes, reasoning 10 to 12, mental ability 7 to 8, data interpretation sufficiency 2 to 3, decision making and problem solving and some other topics from which UPSC has not really been asking questions. That for that, we will only give one lecture. And for comprehension, there will be one lecture which we where we will understand what is comprehension, what really is UPSC trying to uh, gauge from those comprehension, what are the different kinds of questions that UPSC is asking. And then at the end of each class after that, we will have practice of comprehensions in, in every class. Now, you can join by visiting our Level Up IIS website. You can go to courses or you can call on these numbers or you can visit Level Up IIS uh, office and take admissions. All I ask you to have same dedicated result discipline as you have in our, your other GS preparations. And have some faith in yourself, have some faith in me. Let us level up our CSAT preparation and sail through CSAT with clarity, with confidence and with ease. Thank you.